Hi everyone, in this video we will see that how we can calculate survival probability and life expectancy in Excel for both males as well as females. So we are given with this data that is age in years and the probability of death within one year. So let's say if the age of an individual is 2 in years, so his probability of death within one year will be 0.000194, right? And now we have to calculate survival probability. So for calculating survival probability, we have to assume one thing that if the age is zero, the survival probability is one, right? And uh, now let's say for age one, the survival probability will be the probability that he survived until age zero, that is one year, and the probability that he will not die within next one year. So the probability of not dying within next one year will be one minus probability of dying within next one year. Right, so they are mutually exclusive. So uh, what we will do is equals to one minus this probability. So this will be the probability of that person not dying within next one year. Correct. And with this we will multiply. So we will close enclose these this calculation in brackets. And with this we will multiply this particular survival probability. That is previous survival probability press enter and we have survival probability for age one. Let's drag this down. Right. And we have corresponding probabilities of survival until age four, let's say. So this is the number and this is for age five. Right. Now this we have to drag down, but uh, we will now wrap this whole thing inside an array formula and we will use a scan function for that purpose. So let's remove this. And now we will use scan function so equals to scan and our initial value will be one if you remember if his age is zero so the survival probability will be one here so that's why initial value will be one and our array will be this array this array of age right and our function will be lambda and uh, let's say our previous value is x and our current value is y and now we will start writing our calculation so what we have to do is if y equals to zero, so that is if his age is zero, we want x back, that is one back, else we have to do x multiplied by, now uh, this x is for the previous result that we arrived at, right? So we are arriving at survival probabilities. For age one, we are multiplying the previous result that we calculated with the one minus Let's say we do index of this particular range, right? That is probability of death within next one year and comma y. So we will take the current uh, death of probability and we are subtracting that from one and we are multiplying it by the previous result. That is the previous survival probability. And let's close the brackets and uh, let's press enter. So we have our results, right? And you can cross check these results from this website from which I uh, had taken this data. So this is the depth of probability and this is the number of lives. So this is uh, nothing but the survival probability. If uh, you, you can arrive at survival probability by dividing this number with one lakh, right? One lakh or uh, 100,000, correct? So let's say we check for, um, let's say age 30. So uh, for age 30, the survival probability will be 0.97372, correct? So let's check this. So let's come to age 30 and this is 0.97372, correct? So as you can see here, we have 97372, right? So this one was for males and similarly, we have data for females as well. So this is for females. This is their death probability and we have to calculate the survival probability in the same manner. So we will copy this formula. So let's copy this and uh, let's go to this sheet and let's paste it here so equals to and let's paste that formula and uh, as our structure is same so the ranges selected are correct and let's press enter so we have the results for uh, survival probability for females as well right and now we will have a look that how we can calculate life expectancy so Calculating life expectancy is a bit more complex so I have already created a lambda for that and we can uh, see that by going to home tab and going to advanced formula environment right 
and now this is the lambda so i will attach the link of this uh, complete file in the description box you can check out this life expectancy lambda and uh, also implement this as well so this is working fine and now now let's also test this so let's uh, close this and here we will write so here we will write equals to life expectancy so this is the uh, function life expectancy and we have to just pass death of probability as our parameter so we will select this complete range that is death of probability within uh, one year and let's close the bracket press enter and we have our results back right so let's say we check for uh, let's say 33 this time so this is 45.086 right let's go to the website and we have to check for age 33 so this is 45.09 and let's check in our excel so for age 33 it is 45.086 so uh, if if you round this to two decimal places so this will become 45.09 right so this is absolutely correct and let's also do this for females as well so let's come here and equals to life expectancy so uh, you can see that how e easy it is to implement this is there is no use of vba just excel functions right so uh, let's select this range and let's close bracket and press enter we have life life expectancy for females as well so these are the two functions that we can use to calculate survival probability and life expectancy in excel and with no vba right so as you can see that th this is the uh, this is the extension of this file that is xlsx so no vba is involved we have used only the functions that are there on the front end in excel right so you can check out this lambda as well so going to advanced formula editor and you can check out this lambda for life expectancy as well and similarly you can create lambda for survival probability as well and if you want me to explain that how i created this life expectancy function in excel so you can uh, comment me and if i receive uh, lots of requests for uh, doing this so i will definitely make a video right so thanks a lot for tuning in and that is it for this video i hope you would like it and if you do so please hit the like button and please subscribe this channel for more such videos in future so thank you